Hi, Katie. Hi, how's it going? Good. It's going well. How are you? Good, good, good. Hey, so congratulations with that with uh, She Dies Tomorrow. Could you ladies tell me what personally attracted you to this very, very unique project? Uh, just working with Amy and Kate is, is, is all I needed to know. Yeah, I would, I would second what Jane said, working with Amy and Jane. We've known one another for a long time and it's sort of my favorite working experience. So it was a no-brainer. 100%. So, so the moment that you two got to work together, because you, you two have a very important scene, because that actually started off the movie. Could you talk about going through that process together, especially towards the theme of this movie? I think, I mean, what I would just say, and then I want to hear what Kate says, is that I like, um, it, it, it is related to that we met in 2008, and we're just kind of thrown together and work together, and all these years, like, have stayed in touch, and our friends and so it was very easy the Malibu fires happened and Amy said come over I'm going to shoot some stuff with you and Kate and we just started that way and yeah you know she just sort of says say this and go here and and, and she would sent we we had read some stuff right like we knew yeah that. she had sent a script for that scene before exactly. there was a script and we learned our lines and showed up and <laughs> Yeah, that's how we did it. Yeah. Um, I would say it was fun uh, working with Jane on that scene because I think that you and I um, see the humor in Amy's writing. Um, and so there was room to be playful. Exactly. And it's really fun being playful with Kate because she's such a good actress and also looks so good in that sequin gown. Yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> now that um, I did notice uh, some of the humor, but most of the theme there was kind of a little bit uh, morbid of you know going to die tomorrow. What what do yeah. you think about that overall? Well, I mean, we might. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Amy comes from a place of uh, exploring these very dark uh, themes that can feel very um, <clears throat> prescient and, and pressing and scary, but finding um, levity in uh, the absurdity of being alive and facing death. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe we made this pre-COVID, but we did. We did, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's to cut, that is kind of true. So, I mean, the, the timing of this film is yeah. just impeccable. I mean- Yeah, the fact that Amy- that well, the, the fact that Amy would, you know, when we were having phone conversations about it, and she was like, well, no, I think it's going to be like a mind virus. I mean, and there was no talk about viruses when, at that point. Um, so, I mean, it's just really wild that, uh, that it's about a mind virus. You think uh, people going to want to watch a film like this during, uh, during times like this? I would. I would too, but yeah. we'll see. We'll see, yeah. <laughs> I can't speak for people, Gig. <laughs> as much as you might like to. Yeah, exactly. So so how do you get in the headspace? I, I want to call it an emo headspace um, for <laughs> a film like this. Um, well, I was, I'm always a little <laughs> <laughs> But also, I had to evacuate my apartment in Malibu for five days when we were shooting it. I was living in a hotel not knowing when I was going to be able to go home again. So it was a little strange times. I mean, it was easy to feel a little bit like, it was easy to ask Kate, what is going on? <laughs> yeah. And I would say it's all in the writing. I mean, I think Amy crafted the world and it's not it's not especially difficult to slip into the worlds that she creates because they're so, um, her vision is very clear. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, well, go ahead, sorry. No, I was gonna say, Jane, I guess, I guess you should have just asked to stay, stay, stay the night on set or something like that <laughs> during the fires. 
Oh, yeah, except you don't want to when the movie's being <laughs> shot. So, I mean, Amy kept saying, you can stay here, you can stay here. But there's cables everywhere and yeah. people and grips and saying, no, I just needed a quiet place to go to bed. I'm old, you know? I'm going to go to sleep. Um, Kate, Kate, you also had a, um, a reunion with uh, Adam Wingard. Uh, oh, yeah. For, for this movie. Could you talk about that? That, I mean, it's probably been a while since you two have seen each other. Yeah, it had been a few years since I'd seen him. Um, it was great. It was really fun. Um, I feel like same with Kentucker Oddly. We hadn't worked together in a while. And there, um, because we've known each other for such a long time, there's a shorthand. And it's easier to do these scenes when there's sort of a camaraderie um, once the camera stops rolling. Um, but yeah, we have history with one another. So it's, uh, there's built in chemistry. But Adam's great. He's really funny in that scene. You guys are great in that. Thanks. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. It was a bad thing, but I said it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and what is the beauty, what is the lure of doing independent projects just like she dies tomorrow? Um, I mean, I guess the autonomy that you have a little bit more freedom. Um, yeah, it, it's the world that I come from. So it's a little bit difficult for me to answer the question because it is primarily what I do. Um, so it's where I feel most at home. It's like playing with friends, you know, like when you were a kid, like, yeah, let's meet it, you know in Joel's yard and and then you would just go up in some tree fort and make stuff up that's what it's like well excellent well let, let, let's hope we we keep on making these uh very good uh interesting projects in, in the future but thank <laughs> but thank you for uh, have, conversing with me about uh, she dies tomorrow can I ask you what a beautiful uh, back that like your where you're calling from is so pretty that, yeah. that you're looking at all those treetops. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm on the second floor of my house, so I actually like uh, so pretty. My, my trees are overgrown. <laughs> lovely. Do you hear lots of birds too all the time? Yeah, yeah, all, all the time. So. Oh great! Well, it was really nice meeting you. Hey, thank thank you. Nice meeting you too. Thank you. Thank Bye you now. So much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.